Noah Jen here in Gulf Shores, Alabama at the Pink Pony Pub. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Beach Restaurant and Bar Reviews, we're at the legendary Pink Pony Pub in Gulf Shores, Alabama on the Gulf Coast. The Pink Pony Pub is located right on the beach in Gulf Shores at 137 East Gulf Place, which is about 189 miles and three hours away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Many of us love some beach time and often when you find a need for a restaurant on the beach that also offers tropical drinks and live music at their bar, then the Pink Pony Pub might be exactly what you need on the Gulf Coast. The Pink Pony Pub opened up back in 1956 and soon after was destroyed by Hurricane Frederick in 1957. The Pink Pony Pub was rebuilt and has endured damage and destruction by many hurricanes since and has always returned. This is a popular spot for both tourists and locals as both groups often have long histories of visiting this old school spot that goes back to their childhoods. If you've never visited the Pink Pony, you might want to start creating your own nostalgic memories and you might find your return here again and again during future visits. Parking has definitely gotten harder than it used to be and now you've got to pay to park here or there are a few free parking spots where you have to walk a little further so you at least do have some choices. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So essentially the Pink Pony Pub is one big large room on the inside with a bar and then plenty of tables and it is always a good time to pony up at the bar here and you might even be able to sit next to the famous Pink Pony here. So it's always good to make friends with the Pink Pony there and that's uh, quite a nice seat to get. And then you've got the outside patio, which is another pleasant place to be if you want to sit outside. It's way too hot to sit outside today in my opinion, but some people love it. Let's check out the menus now. So on the adult beverage menu, we've got wine with Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Gris, Mum Champagne, Merlot, Prosecco Sparkling Wine, Beer with Miller Lite, Corona Dos Equis, Bud 55, Coors Light, Corona Light, Heineken, Michelob Ultra, Yingling, Corona Premier, Budweiser, Stella Artois, Blue Moon, Modelo Special, Bud Light, Guinness, Sam Adams, Negro Modelo, Bud Lime, and O'Doul's. Then Alabama Craft Beer with a Good People IPA, 51 Pale L, Good People Muchacho, Causeway IPA, Goat Island, Cheap Sunglasses, I Drink Therefore I Amber, Naked Pig Pale L, Judge Roy Bean Seasonal Coffee Stout, Truck Stop Honey Brown. Other craft beer with Dogfish, Fat Tire, 38 Blonde, Lagunitas IPA, Angry Orchard, Truly Hard Seltzer, Twisted Tea, and White Claw Hard Seltzer. On the other side, we have frozen drinks with a strawberry daiquiri, pina colada, key lime colada, bushwhacker, Bob Marley, beach banana, 190 Crazy Horse, 1800 Margarita, Watermelon on Rita, Jamaican Special. And then we have our cocktails with a Mai Tai and an 1800 Silver Agave Margarita, Strawberry Beach Ball, Dark and Stormy, Hurricane, Bahama Mama, Gin Fizz, Old Fashioned, Espresso Martini, Iceberg Martini, Rum Punch, Blue Breeze, Raspberry Blast, Seven Headed Dragon, Rum Runner, Firewater Mojito, Lemon Drop Martini. And I'm really sad I can't drink anything as I'm driving back to New Orleans. So no, I can't have anything. Now on to the food menu with the sandwiches and po' boys. Honey roasted turkey and bacon club, roast beef po' boy, char grilled ribeye steak sandwich, slow roasted pulled pork shoulder, gulf shrimp po' boy, grouper fish po' boy, fried crawfish po' boy, burgers, the pony burger, world famous sourdough cheeseburger, all natural American Wagyu burger. Then we have appetizers with mozzarella cheese sticks, loaded potato skins, chicken tenders, smoked tuna dip, fried green tomatoes, fried pickles, coconut shrimp, fried calamari, buffalo chicken cheese dip, gator bites, world famous pub nachos, mucho nacho, chicken nachos, and Cajun nachos. On the other side of the menu, we have seafood favorites with fried blue crab claws, peel and eat fresh shrimp, oven baked lump crab cakes, fresh gulf shrimp, fresh gulf raw oysters, char grilled oysters, then we have Angus Steaks with ribeye steak and fire grilled surf and turf. Then we have pub favorites with New Orleans barbecue shrimp, crab claw basket, fish basket, shrimp basket, garlic parmesan shrimp spaghetti, fried chicken basket, soup and salads with gumbo, classic cob, kale Caesar, Greek Caesar. 
Then we have sides with french fries, side salad, steamed broccoli, hush puppies, homemade slaw, tater tots, dessert, key lime pie, vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, and yet another one of my pet peeves here. They have a big bottle of ketchup, but from my favorite condiment, mustard, they only have these crappy little packets I hate. Arr! All right, so one of my dining companions got this wonderful looking shrimp po boy. And I got the burger. So the shrimp po' boy, it looks really good, except the bread's not quite right for an actual po' boy. But here's my burger, not a lot of beef here. And all right, so very thin piece of meat. The bun looks pretty nice though, but mm, definitely uh, lacking some beef on here. This is a mighty thin patty. Now a lot of the bun is quite good. Overall, we've got good structural integrity. The uh, beef is just not a very juicy, delicious patty of beef, I have to say. I would probably suggest stick with the seafood here. This burger just isn't really worth the time and effort. The seafood items here are way better. I had to try the burger though, just for the sake of, you know, you gotta try the burger sometimes. So far in this little area of Gulf Shores, I've been overall really disappointed in many of the burgers for whatever reason. They just on average have not really wet my whistle with some juicy deliciousness. So overall, structural integrity has held together decently with all things considered, and I wouldn't expect it to have a lot of trouble with such a thin piece of meat. So the gooey gooey cheese has kind of made sure everything was glued together. You know, not a whole lot of other things were on here. It was uh, just one tomato, a bit of red onion, and a very thin piece of lettuce. So certainly very basic, simple burger. Nothing very special about it. I would not order this again personally. It's been a long time since I've had the burger. I would stick to the seafood definitely yet again to remind you of that point. Here's the french fries. Let's give them a little sample. Okay, so decent fries. So these are, you know, pretty overall good fries. I wouldn't mind getting these again. And they're going down very easily, nicely. Got a nice little crunchiness on the outside, a little softness on the inside, like a perfectly fried french fry should have. And you should also sample some of the cocktail menu here if you have the opportunity and don't have to drive for three hours like I do to get back to New Orleans today. So I'm also a little grumpy and sad of having to leave the beach today to get back to work for Monday. But arr, you know, you'd rather stay at the beach, but you gotta go sometimes. All right, so these french fries are going down quite effortlessly, very efficiently. I'm absolutely destroying them with no problem. And uh, sadly enough, I think the french fries are more enjoyable to eat than the burger was. Okay, this is the last fry here. Here we go. And now, just like I totally destroyed this burger of fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this burger and fries. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account as I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So the total for four people before tip was $78.04. So thanks so much to everybody at the Pink Pony Pub for many years of good times. Now it's uh, definitely a place I don't come to very often as I think it's a little overpriced for what you get and some other places I enjoy a little bit more. This place is a classic and very unique, so if you've never visited, you certainly should give it a try sometime at least once. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. Make sure to destroy this video right here and keep up with the fun.